Okay, how to do social media marketing for small businesses. Now, there are two ways we can do this. It doesn't matter what industry you are. It doesn't matter um, if you're a restaurant, you, if you are a store, if you have a um, car dealership, if you are a dentist, if you are a doctor, okay? Um, if you are a chiropractor, if you have a gym, you want to promote your gym on social media, there are two things you can do. Um, you can, to start off, you can understand where your customers are online, where they are hanging out, which platform they like to consume information from, let's say Facebook or Instagram, or may, they might be on TikTok. They might be, you know, you might be using, you might, they might be on Snapchat. But let's say most of your customers are going to be on Facebook, they're going to be on Instagram, and they might be on TikTok, okay? Uh, if you're a small business, like a store, the thing you can start doing is you gotta start creating content. Or as Gary B says, you gotta start documenting your place. Whatever is going on in your place. But let's say you want to start doing this on Facebook and Instagram, okay? Which are the, mo the platforms that I recommend for small businesses. The first thing you gotta start doing is you have to create your uh, Facebook page or Facebook fan page or Facebook um, business page. You create one because that is the page you're gonna need in order to um, in order to run your ads online. I'm talking about running ads too, but that's the paid option. I'm talking about the first option, the first the, the first option here, which is content, which is free. You can start posting daily videos or daily pictures about your place, about what's going on in your place. If you are, if you have a restaurant, you can start uh, documenting about or, or posting about on your daily specials. You can start posting about what pe people think about your food, okay? Um, what kind of events you have. Everything has to be visual. You see, everything has to be videos or pictures, <clears throat> which I would recommend more videos. You don't have to be in front of the camera talking if you are the business owner, if you are the general manager, but you have to start documenting, documenting everything. Maybe the behind the scenes, you see, maybe um, if you are, again, if you are a restaurant, maybe you can start documenting the making of a very, um, a very popular dish okay of course without revealing your secret uh, um, the secret uh, recipe you have to start documenting and then you need to start creating ads running ads online running ads excuse me on Facebook targeting the people the customers that are more more likely uh, to go and buy from you. You guys start doing that. Same thing if you're a store. Same thing if you have a, a barber shop. You can start creating content. You can start creating daily, I would say, ideally daily content. You can do it twice a week, three times a week. Um, and again, you have to be creative. You have need, because in order to create marketing, there is no, there is no a blueprint of the things you gotta do. Um, well, there is a blueprint, but it's not like this is this is the only thing you gotta do. No, you can be more creative. You you can do your own thing. You know, you you can be a little bit controversial if you want, not too much. You know, just a little bit in order to. Um, yes, you can do that. Again, if you are a barbershop, you can 
document whatever what, all the all the things that are happening in your barber shop. You know, if you have funny customers, if you have someone in your place that let's say likes to be on camera, they like to uh, 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 tell jokes or something. So in this way, you're promoting your place. Again, you gotta be creative when it comes to uh, documenting or creating content for your place. And of course, again, you have to um, team this up with the pay ads. And when it comes to ads, it's a whole... Uh, we can spend hours and hours talking about ads because the ads, of course, they're going to depend uh, what kind of, uh, of, uh, of, of place you have, what kind of industry you are in. And in order to create ads, you need to spend, you need to have a, you need to put aside a budget, $500, $1,000 for pay ads. In order, but those ads, in order to work, you can understand how to create them. You see, you have to understand how to write copy for these ads. Uh, what kind of pictures or videos you're gonna share in these ads? And that's a that's a whole different. Uh, that's a, I would say it's not as easy as creating daily content. Um, it takes more time, more knowledge on this, right? But you see, if you, if you really want to know how you can start creating these ads, you can book a, you can book a, you can book a consultation with me in the link below. I'm going to leave a, a description. You can go ahead, click the link and you can get in touch with me. And I'm, I'm going to let you know, depending on your industry, depending of the type of, of business you have. Uh, I can give you some recommendations when it comes to creating ads or doing your content, your daily content, right? Again, this is without charge for you, no, for free. I can do this for you, but you have to uh, go ahead and click the link at the below and the, in the description, <laughs> so you can get in touch with me and we could talk more about it, right? So I hope you find this valuable. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Please like the video, the video, comment, and of course subscribe to my channel. This is my baby channel, and if you do that, it's gonna help me a lot, right? So thank you for watching. And again, if you want to know more, you want to learn more, you want to get in touch with me, click the uh, click the link below. All right. Thank you for watching, and until next time, ciao.